Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks for taking the time to join us today with today's video, which we will be doing some matrix building in the x Lights uh, layout build series. So it, uh, I know we kind of dropped off uh, at the end of April, but we're back and doing a couple videos because I know we're getting into the summer and people are going to try to start putting their stuff together and adding it into X Lights. And this is what I wanted to do for you. So um, you, you saw in the intro there we had uh, we had some uh, lights going on here. Th this is this is a video that I did on my old channel that. Um, that shows uh, the modular matrix panels from Boscoyo. Uh, I bought these in 2015. I made this video in 2017 and didn't get a chance to hang them up until last year, which was 2018. And that's what you saw in this video here was uh, them going a little bit wild and crazy and so forth and going on. So um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you how you can build matrices in X lights. And we're going to focus specifically on these matrix because, well, I, I, I think one of the biggest things that you can do to your display is, yes, you can have great, uh, great outlines for your roof, great icicles, you can have spinners, and you can have all kinds of cool stuff. But one of the things that uh, you may not be considering is the vertical lines that connect the, the ground up to the top of your uh, display. And I think that is visually something that if you're, if you're going to add something that adds a lot of uh, great look into your display, I think that is one of the best bangs for your bucks. With that being said, this video is brought to you today by the PPD Sequence Club. Our PPD membership offers huge discounts to save members over $30,000 this year alone in 2018, 2019, excuse me. And people have purchased things such as prop signages, there's sequences, there's there's hundreds of things that you can order and save thousands of dollars on this year for your control for your builds and all of the things that you're going to be getting into into the hobby. So be sure to sign up for the Pixel Pro Sequence Club. You get one awesome sequence each month along with a number of preset effects. You get access to all of the awesome discounts. So join the PPD Sequence Club, the only club that pays you back for being a member. So let's go ahead and get started with the uh, video today. And uh, we're going to jump right in with the um, matrix uh, 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 the matrix model up here. So by default, if we click and drag, the matrix model is a horizontal model. Now, we're not going to cover horizontal this time. We'll cover it in, a, in the next video. But uh, I want to, do, I want to come down here and quickly walk through this a little bit here. We've got this horizontal matrix is set up as default. But we're going to change this to a vertical matrix. Now, what's important here is that we change the orientation so that it matches what we're going to be using it for. Okay. Now, by default, it starts you with 16 strings of 50 and one string per strand. So what right now it's saying I have 16 strings, and each string each string is only one string. There's there's no folds. It's just a single line from one end to the other. So we can verify that by right clicking and selecting Node Layout, and you'll see a couple things here. You'll notice some differences as we get into the example, though. You see this blue color and a green color. That signifies that you have two separate outputs on your controller. Now, notice here it says starting location is at the bottom left. So if we move this over here, you can see this is the bottom left of the prop. This is the node layout. This is where your first node and your first string are going to be from left to right. And this is important whenever you're building your model. Let's say you're putting your controller above this and your actual start point is at the uh, at the top left or the top right. You could come over here to the start location and make those changes that are important so that you're able to um, uh, set it up the way that is more logical for your layout. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to look at, we, we see that we have 16 strings. They all start node number one at the bottom, 15, 14, 13, 12, okay? But if we go all the way to the top, it goes from bottom to top. The string starts at the bottom and ends at the top, and there that's the end of it right there. And it's only saying there's 50, so there is our 50 pixels per 16 strings, and there's only one string per strand. So let's go physically, physically look at the... Um, at the Boscoyo model, and if we do, 
Um, and I, I am using this model because I have used this in my display. I think it's far more common for people to, to get something like this that, that, that's already ready. By all means, you can make the model however you need to. But what's important is this is where you might go and get the information for using these modular matrix panels. Maybe in a manner that I'm using them, maybe not. In a, in, maybe you're using them, you're cutting them down, or you're making them even bigger than what they are. Uh, maybe you're going to double them up heightwise and you're going to do them much taller. But these panels are made with a 4x2 matrix, so, or I'm sorry, 4x42, excuse me. And if we take 4 times 42, that's going to be 168. So, um, yeah, let's do that real quick so you can see it. 4 times 42 is 168 pixels. Now, the nice thing is, is uh, this was designed with one universe in mind. So this is literally one universe. And that, that really does make it really nice. One universe is awesome. Uh, you're not, you know, over overloading any, uh, you know, you can run 12, uh, 12 volt pixels with, you know, 168 nodes on it, probably dim it down a little bit, and you can still run it without much power injection. You probably don't have to power inject if you dim it down good enough. Um, but so this is the model that we're going to use. Uh, what I want to say is, uh, what I want to say is, is that in order to create just the single model, we're going to do two models. The, the the first model we'll start with is the original, which is what he what he has listed on the site, which is uh, one string of 168 pixels, and depending on where you're starting it, the way that you might do this is up up once over down over up over and down that would be four rows so that's how we're gonna come up with our number of strands uh, per one output so if I put the number four in here this should be a relatively one for one build on the model and that would fit right there in, in on my layout so let's go ahead and right click and look on look and see what one string that is folded four times with a total of 168 pixels looks like. So if we go into node layout, right click node layout, let me move this over here, and now what? if we scroll down to the bottom, bottom left is node one string one, and it goes all the way up to the top here, 42, remember how it said four times 42, so here's 42, node number 42, and then node number 43 is here, and then, then we go down from here. So we go start at the bottom, go to the top, go over to the right one, and that's that's up, over, down. And then we go to the bottom here. We're at node 84, and then node 85 here. When we turn back up and go back up to the top, node 126 to 127 over here to the right, and then finally back down the other end of the prop. So if this is the way that you're building your model, this is the way that you want to set it up. Now. Um, what happens whenever you do something similar to what I have done on my house whenever you've joined two of these together and you have them on one column? Uh, obviously my columns are, are uh, a, a bit wider than uh, the width of the uh, individual panel. So let's go ahead and create another matrix. We'll click the make matrix button again. We'll click and drag. We'll change this to vertical. And we're going to do the same thing because we literally have the same numbers. Everything's already here. But this is made uh, with um, one string, and we're going to we're going to do some calculation. We know 168 is what one um, one model has in it. Let's multiply that by two models, and that's 336. So now we'll change the number of nodes per strings, 336. And now we now we know that we had four here. We're actually going to have eight on the next one because we're doubling it. So let's go ahead and put eight in there. And now if we open this up, right click node layout, and we have a look here, you will see that we have one string. Node, node one string one goes all the way up and down it follows the same path as the other one we get to one 168 here now here's the second string here's the second matrix panel is 169 and then you go all the way back up to the top and you follow through with the same zigzag pattern and it ends here at the bottom so notice that it only is one color when we started out it had blue and green well where does that come from well literally what that comes from is if you're gonna run 
uh, one matrix panel off of one output and you want to run the second matrix panel off of the second output we just need to change the strings here and put this as two separate strings at 168 pixels per string and then four strings per strand okay we can click save and now what do we have if we right click and we look at our node layout now you can see we have that blue and that green color the blue signifies the first string which is your first panel and this the green signifies your second string and your second panel so you can now put these on two separate inputs on your uh, uh, pixel controller that you are planning to use inside your display so once again, to, to make simple copy and paste of this, this is Control C and Control V with your keyboard. You can copy and paste it. Now, I have an idea this year. I'm going to put, um, uh, since I, I usually don't get into 3D, but I'm going to put uh, one panel here on this side, and then I'm going to put one on the left side facing down the street. So if I did go kind of into 3D, it may look something like here's my matrix panel here, but this one here is going to be uh oh uh, uh oh the x lights doesn't like my mouse here so that's why i don't do 3d um, if we change this here and we rotate it around this way and we click on that and we move it this way and then we click on this and move it this way if this is something that you're considering doing is doing some 3d columns then you certainly can do that uh, you don't need to go into 3d for this I'm not go I, I mean I can do it that for visual representation but uh, for me it's not really that necessary I mean having them side by side will be just good enough because I have the plenty of the room on that um, but I just wanted to share that with you folks uh, like this video if you liked it make sure you click share with your friends if you really loved it remember to hit the bell for notifications and subscribe to the channel so that you see all of the new videos when we post them and the and when they are available if you haven't done yet so folks please go to facebook and join our pixel pro university ppu facebook community where you can get all of your questions answered and have no need for pick pix intimidation which a lot of people feel whenever they are getting into this hobby and trying to learn more where there's so many answers being thrown at them get get some good answers and and join in with the with the community over at ppu Finally, folks, if you find the content helpful, please make sure you consider joining and becoming a PPD Sequence Club member for one month and showing your support for what we do here on the Pixel Pro Displays YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. We will see you in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains.